<coughs> Apologies. Mary Governor Kawira Mongaza is not out of the woods yet. This is after MC has tabled another motion to impeach the governor after the High Court stopped the same process last week. I want us now to join, uh, talk to our reporter, Clement Masombo. Clement, good afternoon. Um, the governor's 70 apologies seems to have had no effect on the MCAs, or did they? Yes, indeed. Uh, the, despite the governor's apology last week saying that she was sorry for everything that was happening within the county of Meru, uh, that seems that uh, it did not uh, touch the souls and the hearts of the members of county assembly of Meru. Uh, after this is uh, coming clear after today, uh, another motion was tabled in the county assembly of Meru to impeach the governor from office. And uh, they say that uh, the county assembly of Meru has yet again resolved to uh, table a motion to impeach the governor from office on the grounds of uh, nepotism, illegal appointments, unlawful dismissals, and usurpation of the constitutional and statutory statutory functions of the county organs. And uh, speaking of uh, Ill illegal appointments, this is the, the members of county assembly are saying that they are aggrieved by the action of the governor Kawera Mwangaza of appointing her husband to the off county offices that uh, to some of the county offices in positions that are not existent anywhere within the constitution or within the county governments act and they are saying that uh, she uh, on 30th of september the governor engaged engaged in gross misconduct and grossly violated articles 10 232, 235, as well as Article 236 of the Constitution, by appointing her husband to the position of uh, the, the position of uh, the patron of the Meru Youth Service before conducting a transparent and competitive recruitment process. They also say that she also appointed her husband to the pos to non-existent position of the Meru Hazlas Ambassador before conducting a transparent and competitive uh, recruitment process, among many other. Among, among many other grounds that they are accusing the governor of, as well as uh, dismissing uh, some of the county employees and just making the roadside declarations that in uh, disregarding the provisions of the uh, regulations of the public service uh, public service commissions, uh, county ca county governments act, as well as the constitution of Kenya. And this is coming a week after the court, the high court in Meru, actually halted another uh, impeachment process that was supposed to happen on 30th of uh, November. That was the Wednesday last week. And members uh, the, of the county assembly actually on Wednesday had sworn that they will be back stronger and even much better, well prepared uh, compared to what they had done last year. La last week, sorry. Remember that in last week's ruling, uh, the judge there said that the members of the county assembly had not adhered to the provisions of the standing orders as well as some sections of the constitution in, uh, in matters to do with the tabling of the motion. And the members had said that they, this time round they will align with whatever that the court had guided them to do and it seems that this time round they are well organized this is happening just uh, about two days after the count the governor of meru county kawera mwangaza actually in embu on sunday at a function that was attended by president william ruto as well as his deputy regadi gashagua had asked the president to intervene on whatever was going on in the county and regadi gashagua the deputy president had issued an assurance that she that he will spearhead the talks within between the leaders of the, the two factions in Meru County to ensure that they, uh, they they sort their differences amicably so that Meru County can move ahead like uh, other counties. But it seems that uh, the members of County Assembly of Meru are not uh, listening to any of that. But we are waiting to see. The tabling has been done today. We, are, we shall get for more details on when the governor will be responding or uh, if at all she will again move to the court for the second time to halt and suspend this uh, particular uh, motion to impeach her from office. But, yeah. Right, Clement Masombo, they are just giving us an update on Meru uh, Governor Kawira Mwangaza's impeachment. I want us to just take a short break here on News Desk. We'll be back with more. Stay with us. <laughs>